Hello everyone and welcome to this really quick training. This is a brand new application that I'd like to introduce you all to and it's called Powtoon. Essentially, it's how I create highly dynamic animated video content using a very familiar PowerPoint style layout. So let me show you exactly what I mean. On the screen right now is the Powtoon website. It's powtoon.com. And um, here are some examples of uh, videos that uh, can be used for your classes. Now, the nice thing about Powtoon is that it's all templated. So if you're trying to create something for your class, you don't have to start from scratch trying to figure out all the animations and stuff like that. <laughs> So that's an example of some of the videos on there. I'll show you some examples of stuff that I've done. So this is an example of, um, of an animation that I actually built. Have you ever been distracted in class and completely missed what your teacher said? Or maybe you've always wanted to go to that school everyone's talking about, but it's just way too expensive or far away. Meet Blue Brain, an online social education platform that boasts the largest growing student network in the world. Whether you're in high school or university, we recognize that there are moments when you just need a little extra help with your studies. Yeah, so what's really nice about Powtoon is how easy it is to get started with creating really dynamic, really engaging content. I'll show you one more that I think works really well for many of our classes, and that's the whiteboard explainer. So this is an example of what it looks like. And you can imagine yourself kind of narrating as you go through the video. You can also replace every single one of these images you can replace every single one of these uh, pieces of text with your content. So it's really, really easy. Now, if I wanted to use, say, this template, I would just click on the Use button, and it takes me to an interface that looks very similar to either Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, as you can see on the left side here, you've got all your tabs, and you can simply move through each of the elements as you would in either Keynote or Microsoft PowerPoint. In fact, it actually synchronizes with Microsoft PowerPoint. And you'll notice if I wanted to edit something, assume here I wanted this lesson to be called um, Algebra. And uh, here maybe I wanted to go with KPI 1.1 or something like that. So you can see it's really easy to kind of move through You've got complete control over music. You can also add sound um, recordings of your voice. You can do this all dynamically. You can also control the entire timeline here. So I wanted to introduce you all to this really powerful app. If you're um, trying to build out your videos, I'm going to basically take you through um, some really quick training as well as give you access to this for free so you don't have to pay for this and uh, you can basically produce your materials here. I've got 88 um, licenses available so that's just for our staff. Um, it technically says student but you know teachers can use it too so I'll make that available for you all and uh, that way you can get started as well as I'll take you through in this particular training, I'll take you through the basics of Powtoon.
Okay, so in Powtoon, when you are opening up the interface for the first time, you're greeted with this very familiar layout. And this looks very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint or Keynote if you're working on an Apple device or on Google Slides if you're working there. But what's really dynamic about this is all the assets. As you can see, we've got entire scenes here that are all completely animated. And you have complete control over each of these animations. But the nice thing is you don't have to understand the animations. If um, you're happy with the entire template, all you've got to do is simply click on an asset to change what that is. In this case, let's say I wanted to change the title here. As you can see, I changed it to algebra, but let's say because I teach creative design, I wanted it um, to call it creative design. And in this case, maybe I'm teaching a topic called linear perspective. Okay, so in this case, I'm, I'll be teaching linear perspective and now I can go through the slides and replace these assets with something that matches my content. Okay. Okay, so now I have the option to add my own personal um, videos on here. I can add my own personal images on here as well as I can use whatever is available. So if, for example, I wanted to an equation or something like that, you can go to the tab on the right side that says images and you can click on the images button. Um, and then there's an option to basically upload here. And when you upload, uh, when you click the upload button, you've got an option of where to upload it from. So you can import it from social media or your draw or your cloud storage, uh, or you can upload directly from your computer. So in my case, let's say I wanted to upload um, something from my computer. So let's say I go to creative design and I go to my assets section and maybe I want to get this um, picture of paint. All right, so now I have an image that is directly from my computer and have the option to also animate that image. Now, if for example, I'm gonna play this particular pow tune, maybe this character is reacting to the, the paint. And as you can see, the paint appears on screen after the, um, computers are, are kind of um, crossed out there. So that kind of makes it really dynamic. You also have the option to add demonstrations in video format. So assume you're doing some kind of formula calculation or some kind of drawing demonstration. You can add it as a video here the same way you added the image. So just click on video, click on upload, and now you have the option to upload video directly here. So let me show you really quickly how you would go about adding a scene. Assume that you wanted to add an entire scene. So the nice thing is on the, on the bottom section here, you've got the ability to add new slides. So you just click on that and it adds a slide wherever you want. You can also click and drag slides to any position that you want. So in this case, let's say we want the slide to be in that second position. And now I have the option to add entire scenes to this. So what I'll do is I'll click on the scene button here. Now I've got an entire list of different scenes here. So let's assume I want to go with a specific situation. Okay, and in my case, maybe I want the situation to, maybe I like this one. So this is an entirely um, animated imported scene, which I have complete control over. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. Now, obviously I can change that. So let's say I wanted to say go digital instead. And maybe I, I think that's too big. So I wanted to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and assume I'm happy with that. So, now 
Nice. So that is how easy it is to use Powtoon. But what if you wanted to go a step further and add your voice? So I can do that really easily from the sound section here. I'm going to click on sound and now I have the option to add voiceovers or I can even add music. So this is, if I press this little, if I click on this little speaker icon here, you'll notice that it shows me what I've already got added to the entire um, slideshow. So in this case, if I wanted to add a voiceover, I can do so either per slide or per um, for the entire slideshow. So let's assume I want to just go with slide. I'm going to click that once and I'm going to choose the record button. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Let's see if it works. And it's going to ask me if it can use my microphone. I'm going to say yes. Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Today we're going to learn about linear perspective. And this is what it looks like. Now I can preview. Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Today we're going to learn about linear perspective. And this is what it looks like. Awesome. So if I'm happy with that, I can just click on the save button and call it slide one audio. I'll click on save. And now you'll notice that it's been added to just the slide so I can play it. Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Nice. Now if that does not, if, uh, if that audio does not fit here, you can always increase the length of the duration um, that that slide plays for by clicking on the little plus section here. And that will add a couple seconds in between there. So let's assume we want to add some seconds to the very end here. Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Today we're going to learn about linear pers- Okay, I need a couple more there. So as you can see, you have lots and lots of control here. So that's really what makes this so powerful. Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Today we're going to learn about linear perspective. And this is what it looks like. So maybe that sounds really good, but maybe, I, I don't know, maybe the music is a little bit too loud. So I'm going to again click on that little audio icon there, and I'm going to drag this down. So now it will sound like, Hello and welcome students to this new lesson. Today we're going to learn about linear perspective. And this is what it looks like. Nice. So again, you get the idea. You can go through an entire lesson, keep it dynamic, keep it fresh, keep it really visually engaging without necessarily worrying too much about your content being stagnant or boring. The best part about using Powtoon is that it's all in the cloud, which means that all your work is saved online. You never have to worry about it being lost or whatever it is. And as you can see, it saves automatically. So let's assume I'm happy with this. I'm ready to move forward. I've finished the lesson. Now I'm ready to export. I can simply click on the export button. Um, and that's going to take me to Hello this screen and here. Welcome. This is sort of like your final review. And you click on export once you're ready. And you can click on the MP4 sign to save the video. And it's as easy as that. Okay, there are lots more um, tools and um, assets here that you can play with. And I encourage you to maybe just get in there and play around with it. 
like I said, this is not something you have to pay for because I've already paid for it exclusively for my work, but I'm happy to extend those uh, licenses to teachers who are going to be building um, videos for our project or even just their classes. That way you can get in here, you can learn about it, and we can kind of grow together. Okay, so I hope that uh, this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.